All right, once again, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, in the second video, Ray is going to be cutting a meat hand and a chunk of meat to simulate a scene from my book, Torched, where my main character, Bridget, is a welder and she fights off her attacker with her smith torch. Now, we decided to do this just it's obviously not going to be perfect because from what we understand, fingers you know, are being what they are, don't exactly melt like this, but this is about as close as we could get without using real fingers. So that being said, once again, we are professionals. Please do not try this at home unless you too are also a professional. Take it away, Ray. Smell the burn. Well, it's definitely cooking away the flesh, but leaving behind the bone. Now imagine what this could do to real human fingers. From what we understand, this was a famous method of torture in, by the Mafia in what, the 1950s and 60s? Ray's shrugging right now. But to extract information from victims, they would use a welding torch and this oxyacetylene torch to sever human fingers. So you saw how much time that took Ray to cut or otherwise desiccate each bone. So now Ray's going to go ahead and swap the hand for the hunk of meat. You know, what can it do to just a hunk of meat? Go ahead. Yeah. You, you want to take some stills of that or? No, go ahead. I'll take stills afterwards. I'm still down there. So as you can see, the torch is definitely searing the flesh, but it's not like cutting straight through. Not like a clean, clean cut. Nice barbecue smell, Ray. For our next video, Ray, at the bequest of one of my Twitter followers, is going to cut a cake on a glass cake stand. Stay tuned. 